in a Title IX lawsuit, it's pretty, it's easy in that um, the facts are how does the school allocate its resources between men and women, okay? So there are several places that we can get facts from. Number one is from the information that schools themselves have to give over to the Department of Education. And they give it, it's on a website that you can look at right there. It's called uh, the EADA. If you just type in into a Google search bar, EADA, usually the first thing that comes up is Equity and Athletics Disclosure Act. And in there is a website that the schools provide that information. Okay. The problem is most families, most athletes, most coaches, they don't know how to interpret the data that's up there. They don't know. It's not, it's not done. It's not uh, presented in a way that would help you to know if it's fair to ask for more opportunities. All right. So we, Janine and I, um, worked on this website that gives a simple pass fail on three metrics. Numbers of opportunities that a school needs to add women, number one. Number two is how many scholarship dollars does the school need to add? And third is the um, recruiting dollars. Okay, so the, all those facts, remember, come from the school themselves. All right, second place to get the facts, right? So the first two websites, one is from the Department of Ed, one is from, all right, but it's the same facts. We all we did is we took the facts, applied math to it, and, uh, and showed for over 2000 schools, whether or not the school's discriminating. All right, the second place to look for the facts is to go onto the school's website itself. And so uh, say so at University of North Carolina, go heels and you'll say like, okay, the softball program. And you literally just count one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So, right, and you count and you see what the, what the numbers are. How many men, how many women, okay? I can tell you, Janine and I have been doing this for quite a while now. And the numbers almost always get worse from EADA when you actually look at the rosters. The rosters usually is not as good, not as rosy a picture as, as what you get on EADA. So when we found out that 90% of schools are not complying under EADA, and then you go on to uh, Go Heels, it's, or you go onto the individual school's website, it's actually worse. 